Welcome to a new chapter in skateboarding. Here at the Olympic Park in Munich, Germany, a new contest format makes its debut, combining the very best elements of street and park on a one-of-a-kind slope-style course. This is Roller Coaster, and you're watching the Red Bull Signature Series. Let's go skateboarding. You got a little, you can use much more. Willkommen everyone, Sal Masekele here, your host of the Red Bull Signature Series, and welcome to the historic Olympic Park site of the 1972 Munich Summer Games. We're about to make some more history. At this, the first of its kind, 300 meter slope style skateboard course, it is filled with twists, turns, ups and downs, all sorts of speed, and the finish line is literally over the top of the Olympic Lake. It is built entirely out of wood and is aptly named roller coaster. Our field, it is international. We have competitors from Norway, France, Spain, Brazil, and the USA, which is made up of a very strong contingent of Floridians, including names like Jake Alardi, Alex Sorgente, Jamie Foy, Fabiana Delfino, and who many consider the future of skateboarding, my man Zion Wright. For more on this very historic competition, I'm going to throw it down to Ed Lee and the legend Chris Dune Pastris. Thanks, Al. A completely new format here at Red Bull Roller Coaster. Until you've seen this course up close and personal, you cannot understand how big and scary it is. You've already been on it. Yeah, it's big, you mentioned that, and it's super, super fast. Way faster than it looks from up there in the booth. And it's not just one element, is it? It's not like it's all bowl skating or all street skating. It's a complete mix. Yeah, this is a total hybrid course, Ed, that combines elements of street skating like we've seen in SLS contests with the hubbas and the handrails with the transitional skating and the bowl skating we've seen in Vans Park Series. So it suits all terrain vehicles that can hit all obstacles, keep their speed and be consistent. And that's exactly who they've invited here, all terrain skaters. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, the course designer actually said he designed it with Zion Wright in mind, and that's the future of skateboarding. Kids grow up with perfect skate parks, but they also shred handrails and hubbas like, like a Zion, like a Jamie Foy, like a Jake Alardi, our first place qualifier. Okay, the third member of our team, Tina Dixon, is on one of the most unique elements of the course now. Yeah, and I'd say one of the most nerve-wracking parts about a contest is actually waiting for your score to show up. You're standing down here, your heart is racing. But here at Red Bull Roller Coaster, the athlete actually takes part of that process. So take a look at this. It's a Bavarian tradition. The athlete gets done with their run, comes over here, hits it, and just like that, their score pops up. So we've seen these at carnivals, festivals, usually to measure the strongest man. But here today, it's telling us who the best skater is. Thank you, Tina. From the ever so unique Strongman Hammer scoring system, let's take a look at the most unique part of this contest, the course. Red Bull Roller Coaster is a first ever in skateboard events, nearly 330 yards long with a vertical drop of 12 meters. Yeah, this course truly combines elements of street and park. The first obstacles bank to ledges into the massive booster bank wall. Then we take it back to the streets with the BF Goodrich picnic table, speed checking into the Big Dipper wall ride. And then we have our high speed elbow hip. That brings us to one of the more popular obstacles, the rapid rainbow wall for big points. Then guys, speed check here at the gravity gap and also hit the handrail obstacle taking it back to transition with the topspin corner into the wipeout water gap over the Olympic Lake. And last, we have the high-speed striker quarter pipe. And that wraps it up for the roller coaster course. Sometimes there's a gap between CGI and reality, but not here, as you're about to find out. Our first skater is ready to drop. The format is simple. It's the best of two runs scored out of 100, and the judges are scoring for each of the 12 features. Pedro Barros from Florianopolis. Pedro has been, just been destroying the Vans Park Series. Nice start with the nose grind in and the tail slide. See if he makes adjustments from yesterday's line. Looks like it. Nice alley-oop boneless we didn't see yesterday in qualifying. Ollie's the entire picnic table. 
Oh, that Smith grind on the bank wall. He struggled with that yesterday. Recovering with that Ali over the elbow. Nice alley oop lean air there. Oh, the nice speed you've got to control. Slide. Yeah, I like that little power slide combo. I love how he conquers the bowl section. Got to give some credit to the follow cam guys. Oh, this is this is a crazy course to film. Nice 360 oh. on the 540. Wow, Pedro's coming out swinging. He ain't messing around. But you've got to, haven't you? We we haven't got three runs as they did in qualies. There's no sleeping on these runs. There we have Pedro showing us why he's the undisputed king of park terrain with that massive alley-oop boneless. Then showcasing the diversity in his tool set with that massive ollie over the picnic table. Taking it back to the parks with a nice hip ollie. And then there we have Pedro, bowl master, frontside 50-50 into that floater ollie. True all-terrain vehicle skateboarding there. That was an all-out assault on the course from Pedro Barros, run one. Uh, no I'm going to go 70, ooh, 59, all right. And the bail cost him. We want to see Pedro make that entire line. That's uh, in contention if he pulls it. And we can throw down to the finish area now where Tina Dixon is with Pedro Barros. Yeah, and it is a completely new event, something that no one really has seen before. Transition, you've got street. Uh, how tough is it to do a top to bottom run? Oh, it's really hard. I mean, it's a long course, and you got a lot of obstacles in the middle of it, so you got to make sure you hit every one of them, and you got to make sure you're skating fast. So in the end, you're like, whoa, just ran a marathon. But it's skateboarding, and it's super fun. Yeah, good stuff, guys. Thanks, Tina. Now, joining us in the booth, one of the most creative pros in the business, Nora Vasconcelos. Thank you. You've had a glimpse of this course as well, haven't you, Nora? Oh, yeah, it's complete chaos. So I'm really looking forward to kind of standing back and watching it. It's going to be wild. OK, next up, Curran Caples, quintessential Californian kid. He's almost he as comes. good at surfing as he is at skateboarding. He just snuck in, didn't he, yesterday in qualifiers. So yeah, he's good at that. Wow, nose blunt slide in, tail slide. That's that surf style. I love oh, that. Just oh. huge alley oop front side ollie. Nice blunt so slide. So far, so good. Nose grind, wow. This is a really solid run. It's coming out into huge backside air. I love the speed check after the backside air on that bank. Yes, he made the backside Smith grind. Oh, oh. My God. Yes. and that's front, the front side yesterday. flip. Front side flip. That Holds is so it. insane. I love that Curran's going Curran. all out. Not a safety run at all. That was so great. That's wow. incredible. Oh. Having He's barely hung on to that front feeble. That he perfect. squeaked through qualifiers and then he lays that down yeah. first run. That was extremely technical. It was extremely fluid. Um, he even pushes right there, like such a speed section. Yeah, we saw that blood slide on the BF Goodrich table and then wow. the nose grind on that pool coping wall. So rad. Nice Japan tweaker. Into the front side flip. That Risky is... move for Kern Caples. Nice backside air. Sets himself up for a backside air on the quarter pipe. Great, great run from Kern Caples. He's got to be stoked. That's got to be 80s, 80s, at least high yeah. 80s, mid 80s. I'm claiming. Oh, 87. 87. Nice. All right, Curran. He's stoked. That's awesome. Well, he took risks on the front side flip, and uh, it obviously paid off with our judges. Okay, Tina's down work. in the finish area with Curran now. Yeah, giant score from Curran on that first run. Uh, give us your take because you were not holding back at all. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, there was a bunch of tricks I like didn't land really in practice either, so I'm kind of surprised that I put it all together. So, it's soaked. How is the speed on this course? Um, it's kind of hard once you get to like the rail. It's kind of hard to check your speed, but that one I kind of went slower than I even wanted to go, so I was kind of, it worked out good. Yeah. yeah. And a great first run score. Thanks, Tina. Alex Sorgente takes his turn on the roller coaster when we return to the Red Bull Signature Series. 
Welcome back to the Red Bull Signature Series. I am your host, Sal Masekela, and this is Roller Coaster from the Olympic Park in Munich, Germany. Alex Sorgente, Jamie Foy, and Zion Wright. Not only are these skaters the best of friends, they also recently became roommates, so when they're not at home, they're literally always skating together. It begs the question, does living, skating, and traveling the world with your bros ever get to be too much? Let's just say that whether together or apart, these dudes are living their best life. Me and Jamie Foy and Zahn Wright, we all live together now in LA. It was always our dream to be professional skateboarders and just be like in California and be living the life. Eventually, you know, things start moving for all of us. And then Jamie was hitting me up like, yo, like, we should get a spot, like, let's do it. So we were like, all right, well, let's get on it. And then the day we went to go check it out, we got the key for the house. So far right now, it feels like the dream. It's been awesome. We're always traveling. We're honestly, like, barely ever home at the same time. It'll be just Sorgente and me, and Zion's gone. I'll come home for a little bit, and then Alex will come home for a little bit. It's almost always two out of the three. It's kind of how it feels. We all feed off of each other because we all skate with each other. When we always show up to a new place, we're like, hey, you should do that there. You should try that there. It's kind of cool to just get like, a thought from someone else, like a good homie it was like, oh, I'm going to do this. And it kind of like can help you think a different way. We're all sharing something with each other to like mix it up. It's pretty sick. Definitely because we're good friends. We're always like, yeah, I want to do better than him. You know, we kind of like push each other like to do that. Well, we talked about it, how sick it would be if we could get like the three podiums with the three people that live in the house. That would be amazing. Maybe with the time that we're living together, we should kind of make that a goal, try to knock it out. From Florida to LA, and now here together in Munich. Next up is Alex Sorgente, and Chris, he was, he was your pick. Yeah, Alex is just um, the total all-terrain vehicle. He's been skating a ton of street with his roommates, Jamie Foy and Zion Wright, so. The street skills have been uh, improving, which we saw in qualifying. Ah, oh, oh, a bit of a, a rough start there after I hyped him up. Get a chance to reset here. Nice Wally to 5 0. Alex has enough uh, contest uh. experience to know how to recover, but. It's hard. He hasn't fallen on this stuff in practice like no, at right? all. <laughs> yeah, we've seen Alex just crushing it. So yeah, every every single obstacle is technical and it can throw you off really quick. Nice backside air over the elbow. Alley oop backside Ollie, that was so massive. Nice frontside lip slide. I like how he works the bowl section. 50-50 to fakey into that half cab blunt. Nice little combo setting up for the mega, mini mega I should say. Backside three. Oh, into the alley -oop body jar. Backside 50. Nice recovery. Mm -hmm. How difficult is that banked wall, Nora? I could not figure it out. Seems like it goes on forever. <laughs> that was one of the best things I saw yesterday. The alley -oop backside Ollie. Yeah. So, so smooth. 50 50 to fakie. And that half cap blunt to fakie. Nice work from Alex Sorgente. And he's taking a leaf out of Pedro's book, making sure he gets three hits out of that bowl corner. And we've seen some 360 airs over this wipeout water gap, but not with one foot off like Alex just did there. Great recovery from Alex Sorgente. I'm going, ooh, I was gonna say 60. Two early falls. <laughs> 51.66, so fourth place. Slots in just behind Pedro on a 59.66, Kevin Bacon on a 65.66. But the only clean run we've seen top to bottom so far is from Curran Caples, who currently leads with an 87. Two runs to make it count. And this is a man who knows how to make it count. 2017 Skater of the Year, the most prestigious award in skateboarding. Jamie Foy, Deerfield Beach in Florida. He is not scared of anything. No, no. Jamie Foy is uh, a, a rail chomper, but he's getting some transition skills rooming with Alex Sorgente. So he's uh, a little more suited to contest these days. Can skate everything. Let's switch. Nice fake alley 50 50 in. 
I love, the, oh wow. Wow. He's going for a switch uh, crooked grind, but went to disaster and pulled it. Smith to tail slide. Oh, going for the 180 nose grind. Yeah, these guys are not pulling out, uh, they're just pulling out all stops. They're not going safety runs at all. Super difficult tricks. This is when you see how difficult the course really is, you know? Yeah, right? Nice one foot over that hip. In the backside nose grind, nice recovery from Jamie Foy. Getting some contest experience. Nose blunt to Fagey. And our 2017 Skater of the Year, choosing to go high risk, high reward there with some super difficult street tricks, but definitely paying the price with a few falls. Nice recovery there. Backside tweaker over the wipeout water gap into a frontside 270, but he doesn't quite hang on. At the moment, we've lost so far bails from Pedro, Zion, and Alex Jamie. Argento. Yeah. Jamie showcasing his park skills there, taking us into one of those high-risk, high-reward maneuvers we talked about with a nose blunt to fakie, but running out of course. And then recovering with that backside tweaker over the water gap and not hanging on on that alley-oop air. He needed that for a good score. Okay, let's take a look as he approaches the uh, strongman hammer. And the, the power of the slap there, <laughs> probably reflective of the score, a 46. Okay, we're gonna go for a quick break, but more run one action when we return to the Red Bull Signature Series. Welcome back to the Red Bull Signature Series. We are here in Munich, Germany for Roller Coaster, a brand new concept in skateboard competitions. We have one skater left to drop for run one, our top qualifier, Jay Kilardi. As soon as we sat down and started talking through the start list, you said Jay Kilardi is the man. Yeah, we've been seeing him uh, kill amateur contests for a year or two now. So he's well known in the States, but uh, this is his first international big event. Back Smith in. Brun Smith off the ledge. Let's see what he's going to do on the bank wall. Nice. Back tail. Back tail. I like that. That wall ride, that is just really difficult to control. Like, to come in A lot harder than it looks. From yeah. Here. And McTwist. Hat oh, coming off. Makes it. Flip slide. Now the challenge pocket. is to control the adrenaline. Yeah, yeah. completely. This is the line he did in qualifying that got him first place. Sets up his feet. Indy three. Whoa! Makes it. Oh, <laughs> wow! Like, that I don't even fun. understand. Varial flip Indy after an Indy three. Jake Allardy's run was just high speed. It had great flow and most importantly, it combined the most difficult elements of street with the most difficult elements of park terrain skateboarding, which is what this slope style event is all about. Exemplified by that perfect Indy 360 there. That was, that was a great, great run from Jake Alardi. He did that yesterday, he smashed Same, that strongman hammer. Huh? Yeah. 77. 77. Wow, okay. so I guess uh, he lost a trick in the Smith grind flat bar at the end, and maybe that cost him. Yeah, our judges. Could be it. So those are confirmation of the standings after the first drop. Curran Capels, 10 points of daylight over Jay Kilardi in second. Kevin Bakel, third. And then some unfamiliar positions for some big, big names. Danny Leon, Pedro Barros, Alex Sorgenti are fourth to sixth. And then Jamie Foy, Zion Wright. Fabiana Delfino and Vincent Milo. Huge, huge names in some unfamiliar positions. Well, we're gonna go down to the finish area now where Tina's with Jamie Foy. Yeah, and Jamie, now that one run is in the books, maybe the nerves are a little bit more settled. Uh, what do you think second runs are gonna be like? Uh, I think it might be a little better because, uh, I mean, at first we were sitting up there for like 10 minutes and not really having skated the course. So it's like, we kind of got a rundown right now and then hopefully we can try to better, get it a little better. But it's just kind of crazy because we're up there for a second just sitting there not skating. So it's just kind of hard to like drop it and just get the run flawless. So hopefully the next one goes good. You know, overall though, how would you describe this event? Uh, I mean, it's a lot of fun. I mean, look at it, there's so many people here and it's cool to have the crowd cheering for you and then you're just hauling ass downhill, so it's, it's sick. Thanks so much, Jamie. No guys. Thanks, guys. 
OK, we're going to go for a quick break, but when we come back, we will have all of the action from a packed second run. This is the Red Bull Signature Series. Welcome back to Olympic Park here in Munich for the Red Bull roller coaster. It is a skate comp like absolutely no other. Time to open up the second runs. Pedro Barros wasn't given a huge score in qualifying despite a very, very impressive run. Dropped that first run, still managed to bank just shy of 60 points. So a bit of pressure on Pedro, but he thrives on this. Yeah. and. Uh... Often when Pedro doesn't get scored right, it just makes him skate that much harder, faster and higher. Hopefully that's that. the case here. The alley boneless, nice backside 50 hanging on. He's out to There's the, the Smith grind. He struggled with that in a few runs. Nice frontside ollie on the elbow hip. Oh! Go for the uh. kickflip burial indie. Risky, risky move from Pedro there. I would have bet he was going to throw a five. So I was, I was really, really thought he was going for the 540. Maybe he was saving that for the end. Covering with a lip slide into the front side alley. What's he got for these last few hits here? Mm. Nice 360. Into the, oh, the 540. Ah, uh, Pedro Barros not quite putting together the run we wanted to see here at Red Bull Roller Coaster. At the start of this, I would have put good money on Pedro making first or second. I always think in a situation like this where you've got a lot of unknowns, that experience and his level of transition skill. But is it experience? This is a totally new style of contest with the slope step. I agree. I don't think uh, it's weird. I, I almost don't think the experience matters. All I, bets are off. What I'm getting at, I suppose, is that he skates at such speed in a bowl that yeah. that's one element of it that may freak a few people out, but definitely not him. No. Sixty. So sixty point six six. No improvement for Pedro. Next rider up is Zion Wright, and we sat him down for a couple of words. I mean, obviously, I have set tricks for the run, but it's like, say, if maybe I mess up on one thing, it's like I right, hairball the next thing, or like try to fix the next thing. So it's like a little bit planned out, but like still just going with the flow, you know. So Zion Wright. From Florida, he's done the hard yards and all the amateur comps. Been a couple of shouts early doors for skater of the year this year. Nice right. alley 5-0 into that front Smith. Massive alley Bali keeping his speed into that nose blunt. Get him. There, oh, oh. the tail side fakey. And we knew oh, we saw ball. it on the first run. That was such a difficult move. I'm trying so to recover here out. with that 540. Oh, no. Zion not staying on on the rainbow wall. What? Wow. Nice recovery. 270 lip. When you fall on a 540, oh. chuck a 270 onto the bar. Air to disaster. He's going to throw out all stops for the end of this. Backside three. Indy three, excuse me. Backside air to disaster. Oh. That was oh, cool. Origi original line over the water gap. There's so much to celebrate in that run. And then I mean, you had your fists clenched at no, one No, I'm like hurting myself. I have a ring on. I'm imprinting it in my skin, but that was so good. Nose blunt on the picnic table. This five, I thought he had it too. So it's huge. Close. Slid out there. But then this. right into this, you got it like 270 back lip. That is so gnarly. Yeah, Nora, we're looking at the future of skateboarding here in Zion Wright. He isn't simply just a street skater. He isn't simply just a park terrain skateboarder. He's a skateboarder skateboarder, one that can adapt to any terrain. <laughs> like that. The old body jar to finish for the score. 68. 68, so good enough for third place for Zion Wright. Massive improvement. Leapfrog's Kevin Bacon. And Pedro Barros and Danny Leon. So up to the top, Curran Caples, your current leader. So, so relaxed on that first run. And he above everyone 
has zero pressure now. He can really enjoy this second run. It'll be interesting to see where he steps up here. Oh, for sure. Is he going to keep it safe again, or is he going to try something totally different? Yeah, is this a victory lap, or is no, he's uh, is just so going for broke? Gnarly. Looks like he's going for broke. He might be trying to get to one section where he's going to try something. I love that frontside ollie. All a thing of like beauty. That. Blunt slide. I like how he pushes for speed here. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Fell on that little bank. That yeah, I could, I could see him going and trying something totally different right now. That's such a high-speed nose grind he was going for. Front side air into the bank. Japan. Hanging out. Back Smith on the rail. What's he going to do? Oh, oh, I love that. <laughs> front side flip. Pulls it. God, so cool. Back throws the back three. I mean, yeah, he's, he's in a unique place. He's in first, so. Well, five riders left to drop, and there's still 10 points of daylight between him and the nearest competitor, Jake yeah. Hardy. This is going to heat up really, really fast now. Nice alley-oop alley there from Kern Caples. The blood slide every single time. And I love how he pushes for speed like you need it. Yeah. <laughs> into that frontside nose grind attempt. The frontside flip, this one was so edgy. Barely that's, hanging on. That's gonna feel so good. <laughs> if current score sticks, he will be our winner. But as you said, we're playing Jeopardy right now. There is no shortage of talent left to drop. So Curran Caples has a long and nervous wait down here in the finish area. To see whether or not he can be bested. More when we return to Olympia Park here on the Red Bull Signature Series. Welcome back to the Red Bull Signature Series. This is Roller Coaster. At the moment, the top spot is occupied by Curran Caples with a score of 87. He is my favorite skater, I think. Vincent Milo, the most stylish Frenchman. He channels the uh, Paris Fashion Boutique on a skateboard. Oh, yeah. 180 in. Oh! oh falling off. That's again such a on risky that. move. Casey Smith. Little nose bonker. Back 50 on the picnic table, trying to get some speed up to that. Ledge. Nice front tail. So you got. I love his front side airs. Stinky but fun. <laughs> front side alley oop, power sliding in. Oh, oh, there we go. Kick the board slide. That is so nice. Front blunt after the kick e board. What's he going to do? Kick flip Indy. Nice. Yes. Backside air. Oh. oh. Needed that kick flip lip slide. Man, it's, it's crazy that with a couple falls, still the, the tricks that go down, it's like. You can't be disappointed, you know? It's so frustrating, isn't it? Because we've seen absolute brilliance there, and it's yeah. just going to get crushed by two small <laughs> mistakes. Well, you want to see everybody course. do their best run. That's that's the idea. This. I know. Kickflip board to He's going every single so time. Fast. Nice front blunt in the bold corner, setting himself up for this kickflip Indy over the water gap into the backside air. So good. So a big smile from Vincent Milo. <laughs> we got it. I mean, he, he, he won't get the score, but I don't feel that cheated. We got to see him skate no. to his best in that run. Yeah. And he's given it a Chuck Norris hammer blow to the... Yeah, uh, we're seeing no safety runs whatsoever. No. Everyone's going for broke, both runs. Okay. Moves up to sixth place. Not too shabby. Next in is Alex Sorgente, and we caught up with him a little bit earlier. This course is sick because it's like one of a kind. Like I haven't really skated a contest like this before, like in the past. So, I mean, it's right because you just drop in from the top and you have to like think of all these different tricks to do because there's so many different obstacles. You're literally skating like a street obstacle and then you got to mix it real quick to, to some transition obstacles, you know? So it's like, it's, you're all over the place. And Alex is doing an amazing job of doing exactly what he was trying to describe there. This run has a lot of difficulty and most importantly, such good flow. 
keep it together. Oh. That alley-oop cab, so sick. Into the Smith grind. This is uh, the Alex Sorgente we all know and love. 50-50 to fake into the cab blunt. Nice combo, cut wow. that corner. Setting up for the mini mega. The backside three, pulls it. Oh, the alley -oop body jar. Into the feeble grind, that was an amazing, amazing run for Alex Sorgente. It's unbelievable how much the Jeopardy is stepping up with each <laughs> trick. Oh, of course. Oh, wow. That ollie, that was heavy. That ollie into that last section over, over the tires. You see how relieved like Alex the is. The throwaway gap into the finish area. That's like... That was no safety run whatsoever. That was so great. And exactly. you can see how much it means to him. Look at Pedro, his mind is blown. And when you're talking about that level of skater, yeah. what was that, like Al ten? Alex went for broke and uh, came out. That? Look at this. Let's look at the level of tricks that yeah. he's yeah, done together. That nose grind. Grind. Massive bank wall. Full alley cab alley-oop. I love the speed check. Nice little section through this little corner. He's the king of these half cab blunts. Oh, full cab. He's taking his time, which is really nice, because it, it just really adds more. Oh, I yeah, wanted them can, to show that Ollie. You can That's see so gnarly. Alex's contest experience in this, this entire run. Yeah. Just, I'm cool, collected, but ripping. Yeah. Alex Sorgente on a tear from top to bottom. That was a run for the ages. Ooh, this is a tough one. Okay, it's an 87 to beat. That's what Curran Capels leads on. 84! Well, I don't think Chris Pastras next to me agrees with yeah, that. I, I, I would have scored that run higher, just because of the level of difficulty. We've got Tina down in the finish area now, though, who is with Alex. Alex, just what is your take on that run? Oh my God, I'm so stoked that I just made it to the bottom. Like, I kind of went a little easier, kind of. Like, I didn't like do the run I planned on doing at first, but uh, I just want to make a full run because you only have two chances, and uh, it, it worked out, so I'm stoked. I'm in second, it's crazy. Super hyped. Thanks, Alex. No Thank you, guys. Okay, so we've had Zion Wright and Alex Sorgente. So we get the complete house now with Jamie Foy. Currently in ninth on a 46. There are no question marks over his ability. It's just Love a question that. of consistency. Oh, Wally Crook. So Thank you, Wally Crook. It's unreal. The back Smith back tail is another one that is really gnarly. So risky as well. Crook. Stay oh. on. Oh, he heard you. Front side Ollie North on the hip. What's he got right here? Oh, that nose grind. That was great. Nose grind off that. Oh! oh. So close! Wow, run into the cameraman. Speeding back up. Full cab. On a leaf out so gentle, but with the hip, Ollie. I love that, Ollie. Front side air, so good. Wow! Man, that was really something. Almost coming in with that overcrick at the end. There's the old fashioned street skater joke. How many street skaters does it take to screw in a light bulb? <laughs> One, but it will take him 26 tries. Yeah. And this is exactly what we're seeing here. You've got to be at an incredible level, but you've got to do it consistently. And the thing is, is every single part of this course, whether it be a ramp or a rail, is difficult. So Jamie Foy, what's he got for us? Creeps up to a 58. So does improve his score, but it doesn't improve his position. He's still behind Pedro Barros, who unbelievably is in eighth place. That's yes. crazy. <laughs> it's ridiculous, isn't it? Let's send it back to Sal in the Red Bull Signature Series studio. Thank you, Ed. We are watching the full versatility of professional skateboarding on this course. Does the California kid, Curran Capels, have this thing in the bag? Or will Danny Leone of Spain or the Floridian and number one qualifier, Jake Alardi, be able to catch him? We'll have our final runs when we return. Who's going to be the first ever Red Bull roller coaster champion? You're watching the Red Bull Signature Series.
Welcome back to the Red Bull Signature Series. We're in Olympia Park for Roller Coaster, part of Munich MASH. Two riders left to drop, Danny Leon and Jake Ilardi. Well, both of these guys could overhaul Curran. Danny Leon saw a great first run out of him. No question that if this is landed, it's going to be vying for the top spot for me. Yeah, Danny's definitely uh, got the difficulty level, especially on the transition obstacles. Coming out of Spain, and he's in. Nice nolly nose grind. The backside tail, keeping his speed. Massive tweaked frontside boneless. There's oh! the trail slide. The BF Insane. Goodrich table. Nice wall ride. Oh, going for the 270 lean over the hip. Makes it into the tweak stale fish. This is a great run from Danny Leone. Front feeble. Wow. Taking some risks. Back 5-0 into the front blunt. Into that layback. It's Love a thing that of combo. Beauty. This end is crucial. There's yeah. the Indy 3. Into the Madonna. Into a nose blunt wow. on the bank to bar. That was an amazing, amazing Round of applause. Run for really good. Round of applause. That is going to give Curran a run for his money, for sure. Oh, that is a nervous, nervous wait. I don't know. I wouldn't judge that run higher than Curran. OK. Nice nolly nose grind to kick things off. And third wall, he does that massive boneless. I love that, though. <laughs> Trail blood slides, so difficult. Dad's happy. And we got the tweak stale fish. Love this combo. The backside 5 0 through the bolt corner into the front blunt. But the, if taking Nora's point, the front blunt is very much a stock trick. We've seen that a lot of times. The front side flip in that corner, we haven't seen. Yeah. We'll see with, if our judges agree with you guys. Nice nose blunt great. there. What did Curran put over the water gap? A tweaked air. Tweaker air on that on that first run. Okay, yeah. so maybe it's, it's very close. It's hard. But the front side, it's how much weight, exactly as you said, how much weight goes on the front I mean, side? There's, I mean, there's a few things. Hit. He, he does the nose grind, too, on that really difficult bank wall. The moment of truth. All as awaiting well into scores. The 70s, he's and into the wow. Wow. All the way up to an 89. Wow. Shocker. So that puts Danny Leon in first place. One guy that's capable of taking him out, though, is our next skater. Yeah, it is far from over. So the kid just making his step up into the big leagues. He's been absolutely killing the AM ranks in the States. First time to Europe, and he's exporting some very valuable culture at the moment. Jake Alardi is in. The backsmith and then the front smith to tail, keeping his speed. The alley -oop 50 every time. Nice backside tail slide. The wall ride, keeping his speed, no speed checking at all. Massive frontside air. Turns around, make it. Oh, oh wow! I saw him <laughs> trying that for practice. Hold Into on, the big Jake! You gotta this be kidding is an me. Epic run. Hold oh, on, Jake. Jake Alardi. You could see the stoke in the pop out yeah. of the front block. Hold on, Jake. Nice Indy three. In the kick. Wow. Of the curl, Indy. Look at and him on the, the car. Car. It's unbelievable. Oh, the guys are rushing the course because they know. That was sick. That, that was insane. Talk about adding Look some at difficulty all. and some flip tricks. I wish I was down there. I want to jump in wow, there. Wow. How easy would it have been heavy. for Jake Ilardi to have got down into that finish area that and said... That flip Indy was so, so difficult. Perfect. He, he could have backed away at any moment there as he came in. He didn't need those last three tricks. He could have gone totally stocked. No. But he kept upping it all yeah. the way through. Oh, wow. And that that's what it's about, though, is... The boys That's congratulating him. He's so stoked. Because they know that was a very difficult run. That was phenomenal. Look, Look at that. He'll flip Indy. That Perfect. was so risky. I didn't even see him try that in practice. I, I saw him try that 15 times, and he didn't get one of them. He was just working it, working right. it, working it. And then this section, Indy back three. Barely having time to set it. Burial flip Indy, just and then hit the rip. Second. And look at the dudes. <laughs> and the guys I love are it. already celebrating. <laughs> One of the most incredible runs you'll see.
you need proof that this format Yo. works, you've just <laughs> seen it. Jake Ilardi take Nine the Nine club. Wow! Oh. Wow! <laughs> Do you think it would have been 100? They just didn't have three digits to I, play with. I yeah. 95 on the scoreboard. But wow, that was so oh, amazing. Oh, he used cat. That's oh, awesome. Oh, my God. Look at that kid. He's like, can you sign my shoe? No, you can have my cap. Ladies and gentlemen, Jake Alardi has That's officially awesome. arrived. So, Lardi in first, Danny Leon second, Curran Capels in third, Sorgenti fourth, Zion Wright in fifth. And we have Tina down in the finish area now, who is with the one and only Jake Ilardi. Wow. What is it? Jake is down here celebrating the fans, asking for the autograph. But Jake, how much were you willing yourself to stay on your board at the end of that run? I I mean, I was like, I qualified first yesterday, so obviously I was the last guy to go. I mean, Curran and uh, everybody, Curran, Danny, everybody, they put down super solid runs. Curran came out first with that, um, what was it? I think it was like a 87, yeah, and then Danny with the nine, uh, what did he get, a 90, 90, he got a 90 something, but those dudes killed it, but uh, they definitely put the pressure on me, so I don't know, I just, I just, I had to stay on my board, I had to do it, so. To be down here at the end, though, and know that you won and have those guys come up to you to congratulate you. I mean, you've been coming up the ranks this year, and now to win this, what does that mean? Uh, I, I don't, I'm lost for words right now. Um, it feels amazing, but um, this just shows you, like, the amazing sportsmanship skateboarders have. Like, no other sports, when the other dude wins, the other team is going to come up or competitors are going to come up and congratulate you. So, I mean, that's why, that's exactly why I love skating, so. Congratulations, what a big win and performance. Thank you so much. Guys? Chris, we weren't sure what the concept was going to deliver. It's an entirely new format for a skate comp. And those last two runs essentially gave us a crystal ball, didn't they? They showed us what the future of skate comps could be. Yeah, 100%. I think this uh, combines the most difficult elements of street. We saw uh, the elements there with Jake Alardi with the backside tail slide on the picnic table, the big spin front board on the handrail, but then he did super difficult big transition tricks like the cab heel flip indie and the mick twist. It's just that is the future of skateboarding, a hybrid of street and big transition. It was absolutely breathtaking and what a finish to the competition. I promise you, the celebrations are still going on behind us. Pedro Barros, Alex Sorgente, Zion Wright, all mobbing Jake Ilardi. Uh, that's it from Red Bull Roller Coaster. Back to you, Sal. Thank you, Ed, and thanks to all of you for joining us here to make history at the 2018 inaugural Red Bull Roller Coaster here at the Olympic Park in Munich, Germany. Congratulations to Jake Ilardi. First ever roller coaster champion, number one qualifier, last run, and delivers that clutch run of speed, technical tricks, flying through the air, and proving that he is indeed an all terrain ripper. Therefore, Jake Alardi, you get our signature moment. Also, congratulations to the Spaniard, Danny Leone, and California's very own Curran Caples, rounding out that podium. The Red Bull Signature Series travels from Olympic Park in Munich, Germany, back to the USA and the Fairplex in Pomona in Southern California. It is a two-stroke shootout of head-to-head -head racing on a half-mile unwound course without the turns and under the lights. Be sure to join us for the fourth running of Red Bull Straight Rhythm. Once again, thank you for joining us here today on behalf of our entire crew, including Ed Lee, Chris Patris, and Tina Dixon. I am Sam Masichella. Thank you guys for hanging out.